It is always so great to see you. And guys, today it's Friday, the weekend's in front of us, though, and the days kind of blend together, but I'm not complaining, just being a little Captain Obvious. A few months ago, I did a video on why you need to print your photos. I won't dive into all the details because the link is below, so you can watch it if you haven't already. But the point I made is that there's tremendous value in having a physical print of your photos. In that video, I mostly discuss how having actual physical prints can help you learn and grow as a photographer. Well, the same holds true for having a portfolio. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a few tips for setting up a portfolio. I'll use a portfolio I recently had made as an example. I'll also discuss our current giveaway, which includes prizes totaling more than $4,000. So you're going to want to hang around for that one. Now, what do you say? Hey, get a little closer, pull up a seat, and let's go. Now, why a printed portfolio matters. Now, while having an online portfolio is a absolute must, having a printed portfolio is equally important. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, doing so can really be a learning experience. You see the details and the mistakes much more clearly in a printed photo than you do on screen. But in addition to being a valuable learning experience, creating printed images can help you showcase your work in a way that is simply impossible to do on a computer screen. There is real value in being able to hold something in your hands and see with your own eyes. Guys, this is true whether you print your photos for your own enjoyment or you print for a portfolio to showcase the potential clients. Think of it like this. Your portfolio is your calling card. It should tell your story as a photographer, as a artist, and show people what you're capable of doing behind the lens. In fact, let's discuss a few basic tips to keep in mind when you develop your portfolio. Basic portfolio tips. Now, when creating a portfolio, there are a few general guidelines you want to follow. Okay, the first one here, this is super important, guys. First, you wanna include your best work. A portfolio with 15 kick-ass images is a much better option than 30 so-so images. Guys, think of it this way. You want to be able to knock people's socks off with your very best shots, not bore them with a bunch of photos that shouldn't be in portfolio in the first place. Show them what you can do. Show a variety of work, different subjects, different types of lighting, different post-processing methods, and so forth. Your portfolio should be a snapshot of who you are as a photographer. Next, get feedback. Before you have a portfolio printed, solicit feedback from other photographers. You want your portfolio to be dialed in and as effective as possible. And your colleagues can help you with that constructive feedback. Then of course, the portfolio needs to reflect your brand. Now choose a cover, the materials, the paper, the layout, and so forth that go well with your brand identity. And next, don't skip. If you're a high-end wedding photographer, your portfolio needs to scream high-end. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to spend a giant pile of cash on a portfolio, but it needs to look and feel expensive. Look at it this way. When was the last time that you bought something and you were not wowed by it? Okay, we know the answer to that. When you are wowed, you're most likely, you're more likely, excuse me, to make a emotional decision. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but you wanna be able to sell people. When you put a quality of high value that has that wow factor, when they can, they can smell the quality of the material put in it, they can feel the quality of the paperwork, the ink looks like a million bucks, the album looks like a million bucks, it makes you and your work look like a million bucks, and you're gonna have a high probability of that client purchasing an album from you. 
Those are just a few tried and tested tips for developing an effective portfolio. Now I'd like to show you how I implemented those tips in creating my own portfolio. Portfolio tour. Now let me start by saying that, guys, I'm not immune to the most common excuse for not working on my portfolio the lack of time. Usually my daily schedule is too busy to have time to work on my portfolio, or that's what I told myself. But since the pandemic hit, I've had a lot more time to dedicate to my portfolio, so I decided to put my foot down and decided to take action. Now this, my friends, is what I came up with. This is the journal art book from QT Albums. As you can see, this is a beautiful portfolio. Now, when I got this in the mail and unboxed it, it was like opening a box that had the Hope Diamond in it. I mean, seriously, the leather cover is absolutely stunning. And when you took it out of the box and got a whiff of this genuine leather smell, you know you're going to experience something absolutely extraordinary. Heck, QT Albums even included, okay, I gotta show you this. I'm gonna put this, this is the box that it came in here, guys. So I didn't put it back in there because I, can, I cannot put this nowhere near into this thing as nice and tidy as it, as it was. But QT Albums even included, look at this, guys, a pair of white cotton gloves with this thing. Now, I doubt that's something that comes with many portfolios. And it came in this nice little case that it comes in in each of the pages that I'll show you here in a moment was separated with this kind of translucent uh, paper there. Again, the presentation was off the charts. So guys, first impressions were a 10 out of a 10. And that's exactly what you want in a portfolio. You want to be able to wow people with your work and having a beautiful portfolio to showcase your images will help you do that. Look at it this way. A portfolio is an extension of who you are as a professional. If you put in front of somebody a portfolio that is kind of half-assed thrown together, it's cheap and expensive, this and that, and your work is up here, this portfolio is going to pull that quality scale of yours down a little bit there. So again, having something that really shines is going to do your impression or how people perceive your work wonders. Now I opted for the journal art book for a few reasons. First of all, if you watched my channel before, you know I'm a sucker for really good genuine leather. I love the smell of it, the feel of it, the look of it, just everything about it. Leather is such a timeless material and it is so durable as well, so you don't have to worry about it showing wear or age. Second, the hand-torn archival quality of acid-free cotton rag paper really fits my landscape photography and I love the texture of the pages and I just think it gives my photos much added depth. Apart from the beauty of the pages, the color fast is rated for over a hundred years. So this portfolio will look amazing long after I'm gone. Third, the fact that this album is available in different sizes, I ordered, now I ordered an eight by eight album and this has 20 pages in it, but you can actually, it comes available in sizes from four by four, uh, 11 by 14 and up to 50 pages. So you can get this made in vertical or horizontal format as well. So you have some options, which who doesn't like options? Fourth, I definitely wanted, I wanted a lay flat album. Nothing is worse in my opinion than trying to show people your photos and having the album pages curl up. Come on. With this album, the pages lay perfectly flat so I can enjoy my photos and share them easily with others. And if I go back to the basic tips I shared earlier, you can see how this album ticks off every one of those boxes. Now I could have added up many other photos if I wanted to, but instead I kept it short and sweet with only my best shots. And the shots that I included show a variety of my different skills. Now before I had it printed guys, I did ask a few colleagues of what images they thought were the strongest and that way I was sure the portfolio would have the impact that I wanted. The journal art book definitely fits my brand as well. I wanted people to have that immersive, rich experience when looking at my photos and this album certainly does that and it does it very well. Now I will say this, this is one of QT Albums' pricier albums. Now once I saw the cover wrapped with that soft, genuine, oh so good leather, I just couldn't resist for opting for this album even though it was a little bit more pricier. But man, seeing this album in person definitely validates my decision to have a portfolio made. So with that said, if you have a little extra time on your hands, just like I did, and you want to get your portfolio taken care of, follow the tips that I've outlined here and 
you should be in good shape. With all of our discussions of portfolio wrapped up, let's move on to discussing our current giveaway. Check out these prizes. We have a 38 inch ViewSonic VP3881 ultra wide curved monitor, a 34 inch ViewSonic VP3481 curved monitor, a F-stop Lotus Essential bundle with a medium slope internal camera unit, a set of Stingray 77 millimeter filters, and that includes a five, a 10, and a 15 stop ND. And there's also a circular polarizer in there as well. Two Colorado tripod Highland 48 millimeter aluminum ball heads, Hold fast HF classic camera strap and a hundred dollar Adorama gift card. So not only is this the most amount of prizes that we've ever had in a single giveaway, but the total prize value is higher than before. Well over $4,000. As always, entering the contest is super easy. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So. Check out some of our other videos and drop some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself. Say hello to others in the forum. My friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in our forum, check out the description below. Good luck, my friend. Well, there you go, guys. A few tips on how you can set up a portfolio that is going to represent you the best. If you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button down below if you are currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, smash the hell, kick that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. Well, with that said, I'm gonna jump on out of here and you get out there and create your best shot.